This is an example of an HR diagram. There are many different stars in our galaxy. There are main sequence stars, which is like our sun. There are blue stars. There are white dwarfs. There's giants and super giants, and there are red dwarfs. The stars main sequence form a band that runs across the HR diagram. The sun is a main sequence star. The sun has been shining for about 5 billion years. Scientists think that the sun is in the middle of its life and will remain on the main sequence for another 5 billion years. Very massive blue stars are not in the main sequence very long. They quickly use up the oxygen in their cores, expand, and turn into giants or supergiants. The sun is an average star. It is a main sequence star and is located in the middle of the diagram. The sun is one solar diameter and has one solar mass. Other stars can be measured against the sun in terms of size, mass, and brightness. When a sun runs out of hydrogen in its core, the center of the star shrinks inward and outer parts expand outward. For a star that is the size of our sun, the star's atmosphere grows very large and becomes cool. When this change happens, the star becomes a red giant. If a star is very massive, it becomes a red supergiant. At the lower end of, main, of the main sequence are red dwarfs, which are low-mass stars. Low-mass stars remain on a main sequence for a long time. The stars have the lowest mass and are among the oldest stars in the universe. White dwarfs are the leftover centers of old stars, and they are near the end of their lives. The leftover centers of stars are small and very hot. According to astronomers, the sun will eventually become a white dwarf.